Welcome back to Just Ed Seasoning. On the 21st of April, we've got the Air Jordan 4 in University Blue. So UNC Blue has made it to the Jordan 4 silhouette, which I'm very happy about because you've got to love a UNC Blue. Um, this comes with what I would call sort of Oreo rubber. Um, you can see that sort of speckled, I think Nike refer to it as cement rubber or paint speckled rubber or something, but I'm going to stick with Oreo because that's what it reminds me of. This isn't the first time that we've seen the Oreo speckled rubber on a Jordan 4 before. But one thing I really do like about this is what we can see here. The standard tongue tag has another tongue tag coming off the side of it with a little shot of red and the number 23, obviously from a Jordan. Um, I think that pop of red just really, really works. Um, it just adds something to this wash of, of baby blue. So the description for this says um, that it is taking after a player exclusive makeup. In other words, University of North Carolina applied the Jordan Brown program for their basketball academy and they got a Jordan 4 that looks very, very similar to this. And why wouldn't you want to get your hands on something that was at one point only a player exclusive? The player exclusive wasn't exactly the same as this, but it's very close. Another shoe that comes to mind for me when thinking about this colorway on a Jordan 4 is the Travis Scott's. Now Travis Scott had a Jordan 4 which was UNC blue but he had a red sock liner and more black elements than Oreo elements on it and of course he's got the Cactus Jacks um, on the back heel tab whereas on here we have both of the heels with a Jumpman on. Travis Scott went for one Cactus Jack and one Jumpman. I wonder if people will be buying these and putting red laces in them just to give off a little bit of those Travis Scott vibes. Now we are actually quite lucky in Europe to be getting these on the 21st because the US doesn't get them until a week after on the 28th, which could be good for us in terms of resale because we may be able to sell them a little higher before the US market comes in and floods the market with a load more pairs. So let's see what they're actually doing on StockX right now. Awesome. So on StockX here, we can see, you can actually see the Travis Scott's I mentioned a little bit earlier, or you can see the back of the heels there. You can see the friends and family edition there. Very expensive. <laughs> um, but what, what more would you expect from Travis Scott? Um, here we go. So currently the high is a US 11, which is a UK 10 for 420 pounds. That would net you 360, seven pounds fifty and a very nice profit on the lower end we've got a us 18 uk 17 for 179 pounds that would net you 156 pounds 63 and you would lose out a little bit on that so there's money to be made at almost every size in fact after they release you may well get a return or at least a break even on every size um, but things are looking positive now I think these will sell very well indeed because of the Travis Scott similarities and with the uh, North Carolina PE as well. Next up we've got the Air Jordan 12 Low. So it's been a while since we've seen uh, a Jordan 12 on sneakers. But this was actually launched in the US already, it was launched for Easter. You can tell by the colorway this is sort of looking at those eastery springtime themes very light and airy colors you've got the pastel blue which makes a sort of icy sole you got the white on top you got pink insoles you've got little iridescent patches on the side there um overall a very clean looking shoe in america they had it ready for easter sunday which was obviously very good for them the box for these in the us had an easter egg or, or just a standard egg i think actually on the front the wrapping, not the wrapping paper, but the tissue paper inside we had a sort of grass motif all over it, like spring grass, I don't know. Um, now, whether or not we will get that in the UK, I don't know. And that might cause an issue on StockX, because if people from the UK are selling these on StockX, and people in the US are expecting the Easter-themed box and Easter's themed uh, inside of the box, etc., they might be disappointed if a standard Jordan 12 box turns up with these shoes inside. I mean, like I said, this is a super clean colorway, but I'm not a huge fan of it personally. 
One thing that puts me off, and I think will put a lot of people off with this, is the price point. £159.95, basically £160. At the end of the day, for a Jordan 12 low, for any low of any description, £160 is a bit of a stretch. Considering you can get Jordan 1 lows, if you ever manage to get your hands on those, they launch at £100. Jordan 1 low is a lot more desirable than Jordan 12 low, in my opinion, in the opinions of most people who are into into sneakers and, and follow the trends and Jordan 1 low, Jordan one lows are just up right now and Jordan 12s, they're fine, they're okay. This, like I said, it's not a bad looking shoe, but that's, that's just overpriced. One thing with these is the fact that they've got the pink insoles, they're sort of white all over. You might know that I'm not really into a sort of white on white on white shoe unless it's an Air Force One. So they're giving me sort of women's tennis shoe vibes, if, if, if anything. Although I can, I, of course, I can imagine loads of fellas pulling them off perfectly well with the right outfit. But when we actually look at StockX, let's look into this. I've even had to type in Jordan 12 Low Easter just to be able to find it on StockX. The good sizes are all US 6, US 6.5, US 7. Anything above that size-wise isn't making above retail on, on after fees, etc. So those sizes are all the, the very smallest sizes. This does say to me that it's probably girls who are looking to try and pick up the very smallest sizes of, the, of this men's shoe um, to make that work for them. Otherwise, I can't really see a reason why only the three smallest sizes would be demanding the highest prices. So if you are looking to pick these up for the resale, give it a shot for the smaller sizes, maybe. Um, but otherwise, pick it up for a personal if you are into white on white on white and just like this shoe in general. And if you do, let me know about the Easter box. <laughs> It'd be interesting to see if we get that in the UK too, even though Easter has now, well, gone. Let's move on to the next sneaker, which is launching on the 22nd of April. So that's the day after the UNC 4s and the Jordan 12 lows. Here we've got a shoe that comes with a collection as well. This is a women's shoe which is the Air Jordan 1 Zoom. So it's the Zoom Comforts again. We've seen a few of those um, lately in the Cali Califia? Califia? I hope I'm pronouncing that right, uh, colorway. Now this sneaker is part of a collab with Alayli May. Alayli May, to be honest, I don't really know much about her. I've done a little bit of research and it seems she's a sort of fashion stylist to the stars and a uh, sort of model as well. This is not her first collab with Jordan brand. Um, it's a shoe that's only available in, I say only available in women's sizes, but it does actually go up to a size UK 14, so you'll probably be able to get it um, if there's any fellas out there that like this colorway as well. I don't think it's a particularly uh, restrictive color scheme in sort of only women could wear this. I mean, there are the little elements like the sort of fluffy Jordan patch on the side. It is quite a bold colorway, so you almost need your, your own fashion stylist to the stars to be able to pull off this colorway but if you like it if you want to rock it go for it it's got the sort of satin vibes to the sort of uh, the swoosh here and around the color apparently the color scheme for this is inspired by a lady may's time um, doing sports in school she, apparently one color either the blue or the green represents her own school and another color either, again I don't know which one's which represents another school that she used to train with um, when she was pushing herself a little bit further in, in sports. Um, again, I, I don't really know much about her, but I don't think this is a bad collab, so yeah, I'd like to see more of her. Um, let's have a quick look on StockX at this, actually. So... Awesome. On here, the high is a US six and a half. That's a US women's six and a half, actually. So in real sizes, that is a UK four, EU 37 and a half, or a US men's five. The low on this is a US five and a half women's, which is a UK three, US men's four, EU 36. Um, so at the very highest, you're definitely making dollar dollar bills with a return of 306 pounds on the lower end 
you would be losing, I think, 132. Yeah, you'd be losing a little bit on the lower end. It is nice to see women's shoes um, selling well on the resale market. Um, although I suppose it's not nice to see if, if you can't get hold of them for resale and you want them. But um, yeah, it's, it's cool to see the, the women's sneaker game um, getting more and more popular. One thing that I found was really interesting with the shoe when I was sort of researching before I did this video is that there's been a sale um, for over a thousand pounds already on an 11 and a, a women's 11 and a half for this sneaker so there's got to be some demand out there for sure let's jump back into sneakers and look at what I think is actually the final shoe we've got to look at before my voice completely disappears so yes the final shoe we've got to look at on the sneakers app today on the 23rd of April we are getting a very seasonal shoe with the Nike SB Dunk High in the Hawaii colorway. Wow, that's a very floral print. So this is an SB, so expect extra padding all around. You can probably see, usually the top down view gives you the best view of that chunky, chunky padding. There'll be a chunky padded tongue. There'll be uh, extra air in the sole. There'll be puffy laces, extra grippy soles, all the stuff you come to expect from SBs. What's kind of funny with this is the swoosh. The swoosh to me looks like the sort of, almost like a hessian sack, like a potato sack material, but I, I do like the shoe overall. It's just it's so seasonal. You could not wear this style in the winter and still get away with this, I don't think, unless you're a very bold personality. <laughs> now Nike has, when we look at the description, implemented one of my favorite features on Nike's at the moment, which is the tear away um, upper. So I'll have to find a, a picture because Nike just don't include a picture on the sneakers app of what it looks like underneath the tear away upper. But there is um, like a green shaggy suede underneath parts of the shoe and a palm tree pattern under other parts. Um, if you don't fancy rocking the floral pattern the whole time. There's a hidden pocket in the tongue of these. You can't actually see it again in the pictures but you know you can keep whatever you want in the, in the tongue of your in the tongue of your dunks. I'm not judging. <laughs> um, in these there is very very jazzy insoles, which is that like a skull there? And the palm trees. It says on the description that the the nay nay bird is featured somewhere on on the insole as well. So I guess that's sort of further into the shoe. Um, these do come with spare laces as well, which is always massive thumbs up from me. Let's have a quick look at StockX. I can't get over what a good looking shoe this is. <laughs> um, yeah, StockX. We've got... Awesome. So currently we can see the high is a US size 13, UK 12. That will get you £431 or 377 back after fees. So you would definitely make a profit on the very, very reasonably priced £105 dunk high. Let's be honest, these are going to go like hotcakes at that price. Um, on the lower end, we got a US 4 for just 107 They are chancing their arm with that bid. Absolutely nobody's going to take them off on that which would net you less than retail, but believe me, they'll sell for more than that. Um, at very least, you'll get your money back on these. But I think these will sell probably similar to the Carpet Company Dunk Highs because they were a tear away. They came with extra laces. They were, they're selling very well at the moment. I think these will level out a little lower than those because these are more of an acquired taste, whereas the Carpet Company Dunk Highs were just anybody could rock them um, but I still think these will do very very well nonetheless so thank you very much for watching through all of these I've not tapped notify on that one yet but now I have thank you very much um, for sitting through all of this I hope it's not too much of a long video with all of these sneakers um, if it is I may well have chopped this up into two videos and released it over a couple of days you're goddamn right but take care, good luck with all of your cops, and see you in the next one. Bye.